Hi, my name is Becky Selwyn. I'm a senior lecturer in mechanical engineering and I've been asked to talk a bit about my live sessions and give some ideas for what's worked for me and what's not worked so well for me. I mainly lecture in two units, so I've got 720 first year students doing the thermodynamics part of Engineering Science 1 and we use Zoom webinars for that. And then I've got slightly fewer, 200 third year students doing the heat transfer part of the um, fluid mechanics and heat transfer unit. Um, and we use Teams for that one. So this is how a typical live session looks for my first and third year units. I spend the first five or 10 minutes re recapping the key points from the asynchronous material. It's really important that I don't introduce any new content here because students like to have had all of the content already so that they can turn up to the live sessions fully prepared for whatever worked examples we're going to go through. We then spend the bulk of the session doing worked examples. So this is where there's a slight difference between first year and third year. In first year, the problems are broken down into much smaller chunks so that they don't feel quite as overwhelming for the students. So there'll be maybe two or three minute chunks of questions. Um, so we set a timer on the screen so everyone can see what's going on and they can select their answer in a multiple choice poll everywhere poll. Um, I don't show them who's picking which answer so they can't just go with the majority vote at that point but once the timer is finished we then work through the solution together i show them the key points of it and show them what the correct answer was and, and who picked what in the third years because the problems are a bit more complicated and a bit more involved and we've got a smaller cohort we send them into breakout groups which they selected themselves so they're working with friends just as they would in a in a real lecture um, so they spend about 20 minutes working on a problem and see how far they can get and i i pop in and out with some postgrads helpers as well and then we come back together to go through the solution for, for about 15 minutes. Um, one key point here is that it will it feels really fast when I'm going through the solutions, uh, the questions, the time it takes forever, but the, the, the solution feels like I'm going through it really fast, but that's okay. Students don't mind that because they know they can come back to look at it. And actually by picking out just the key points, it means that they're not overwhelmed with a huge amount of equations to write down. It's just the key points that direct them with how to solve the problem that they need. I then finish off the content of the session with what to do next. So I tell them what they can do now in terms of problem sheet questions and remind them that they, they should really you know, make their own notes on that lecture and make their own notes on the content if they haven't already and do any formative tests that are available. I think that's the most important for first years. Third years don't need it as much because they know what they're doing, but first years need a bit more um, direction and a bit more scaffolding of their learning, really. Um, and then once we've covered that, we move on to the Q&A section. Now I have a postgrad who feeds questions to me from the Q&A in the Zoom webinar or from the chat in Teams. Um, and students like having the Q&A right at the end because if they're not interested in the answers, they don't have to waste their time listening to them so they can just log off. So that's how my live sessions work. They go pretty well. Students really love the worked examples. That's the key thing they like, having the chance to work through things by themselves and then see the solution straight away. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's my live sessions. Thanks.